So good morning. Today, our class is going to be a lot of really traditional poses. Nothing too creative, nothing too fancy, but sometimes I like to go back to that so that we can remember what those postures feel like and we'll still really get moving and get our energy moving and get our bodies moving and feel good today. So we're going to start in Supta Baddha Konasana. So on your back, soles of your feet together and knees wide. So get yourself set up there. Close my window real quick. So in Supta Baddha Konasana, sometimes I like to have one hand on my heart and one hand on my belly. So that with one hand on my heart and one on my belly, I can feel my breath and make it an actual physical feeling. We're so used to hearing it, but to feel your chest and belly rise and feel your chest and belly fall can be a very grounding experience. So let yourself settle in here. Make an effort to slow your breath down a little bit and feel that beneath your hands. And this week for class, by way of thought, I'm asking you to set your own intention for class today. So you decide what it is that you'd like to get out of class. Whether it's something very challenging where you wear yourself out or whether it's something very gentle. Or maybe it's just very intentional. You think carefully about the way that you're approaching class today. And approach it very thoughtfully. You decide what your intention is and bring that to mind now and decide what you're after so that when class starts to get hard and your mind or your mind starts to wander or you start to experience unpleasantness you can draw your thoughts back to that intention take one more breath here And roll over onto your favorite side in the fetal position, just for a quick minute, drawing your knees into your chest, cradling your head and your bicep. Just a brief stop here in fetal position to let yourself feel supported. And press yourself all the way up. Now we'll sit in Baddha Konasana. So supta means reclined. So we were in supta baddha konasana. Now we'll just, we're just in seated baddha konasana, soles of the feet together, knees wide. You can draw your hands down to your ankles. Think about your core, engaging your core, tucking those floating ribs in. Earlier this week, I was taking an exercise class and the person said, so often fitness instructors refer to engaging your core. And that doesn't mean sucking in your stomach. Imagine that you have a toddler or a child who's running at you full speed and you brace yourself preparing for impact. That's engaging your core. So if that visual helps or may, maybe gives you a giggle, brace for impact as if you've got a child running at you for a big hug. Here in Supta Baddha Konasana, let your right ear, not Supta, in Baddha Konasana, let your right ear fall towards your right shoulder. Pick up your right hand, set it on your left ear, not pulling your neck, but just using a little bit of extra weight to feel some lengthening along the side of your neck. Release your right hand and use it to press on your temple and lift your head back up to center. And now other side, left ear falls to left shoulder. 
Left hand reaches up to right ear. Take those left fingertips to lift your head back up to center. And then roll your neck out, down towards your chest, opposite ear, opposite shoulder. Let your head release back as far as it's comfortable. And don't forget to switch directions, go both directions. And come back to center. Draw your knees together and up and roll over onto your hands and knees in a tabletop position. Get yourself set up, check in, make sure everything feels strong and engaged. Your hips are over your knees, shoulders are over your wrists. Moving into cow, tailbone reaches up, crown of head reaches up, belly drops, chin lifts, breathe in. Breathe out, round your spine. Pelvis tucks under, chin tucks under, shoulder blades spread apart. Inhale back to cow. As you move, feel your shoulder blades draw together and then move down your back as you arch. And then as you exhale and tuck your chin, feel your shoulder blades move up your back and then spread apart. Back to cow. And cat. One more together, cow. And cat. Continue to move through these on your own breath, in your own time, adding whatever motion that you need, feeling out your body, especially when you come to these early morning classes, checking in to see how things are feeling, if you have any areas of tension or areas of stiffness. Send some extra breath to those areas. Come back to tabletop, make it nice and still, breathe in and breathe out. Tuck your toes and lift your hips all the way up and back. Downward facing dog, first downward dog of class today, maybe of the day. Start by pedaling your feet out. And today when you pedal your feet out, actually twist those hips, open those hips. So as you put your right heel down, can you send your left hip up to the sky? And as you send your left heel down, can you send your right hip up to the sky? So bringing a little bit of motion into those hips will bring a little bit more stretch and engagement along the backs of your legs in particular. Adding a little bit of twistiness. Again, feeling for tension, feeling for stiff spots. And then settle into a still downward facing dog. Draw your attention back to your breath. Take your right foot, pick it up ever so slightly, just the littlest bit off the ground and step your right foot in between your hands. Drop your back knee down to the earth, toe can stay tucked or untucked. Lift your hands up and overhead into this crescent moon. And really let your weight sink down into this front leg. You can relax your hands down alongside your body or maybe clasp your elbows behind your back. Hips are really pressing forward. Drop your fingertips down to the ground around your right foot and straighten and bend your front leg a little bit. Moving into that hip joint. Stack your right knee right over your right ankle. Pick your fingers up towards the sky back to crescent moon. Grab your left wrist with your right hand. Lean over to the right. 
and inhale your fingertips back up to center. Plant your hands around your right foot, tuck your back toe, lift up and step back to your downward facing dog. Pick up your left foot, step between your hands, drop your back knee down. Start with a nice high crescent moon, sinking into your hips. Hands can come down alongside your body. Maybe elbows clasp. Inhale your hands back up. Plant them down and straighten, bend your front leg. Inhale your arms back up. Your left hand grabs your right wrist. Lean to the left. Inhale, fingertips back up. Plant your hands, tuck your toes, and step back, downward facing dog. Breath in and breath out. Walk your hands back to your feet today, to the back of your mat. Find a forward fold, release everything. Grab opposite elbows with your hands, sway from side to side. Keep that bend in your knee if you need a little bit of support. You're not quite ready this morning to just let it all go. There's no harm in keeping those knees bent. Drop your fingers down to your mat. We'll roll all the way up to standing. Roll up. Inhale, arms float up and overhead. Exhale, draw them down to heart center. Inhale, arms float up. And exhale, bow or swan dive all the way down. Forward fold. Inhale to your halfway lift, hands plant on your shins, core engages, crown of head reaches towards the front of the room. Exhale, forward fold, walk your hands forward to your high plank. Breath in and breath out, downward facing dog. Breath in and breath out. Look at your hands and walk your feet all the way forward to your hands this time at the top of your mat. Inhale to a half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, roll up. One vertebrae stacks on top of the other. Arms float up at the very end of your inhale. And exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, everything floats up. Gaze follows your fingertips. Exhale, bow or swan dive all the way down, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step your right foot back, step your left foot back, high plank. Hold it for one breath in. Breath out, lower all the way down to your belly, elbows pointing towards the back of the room. Untuck your toes. Inhale, lift your chest and shoulders up, baby cobra. Exhale, forehead drops back down. Again, inhale, chest and shoulders up, baby cobra. Exhale, forehead drops. Inhale, chest and shoulders. And hold it here. Maybe you lift your hands up off the mat just for a brief second. Breath in and breath out, forehead back down. Tuck your toes. Press either through tabletop or right to a high plank. Exhale, down dog. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, look at your hands. Exhale, step, walk, tiptoe all the way up to meet your hands into your forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, roll up. Arms float up. Exhale, hands to heart. Again, just like that, a little faster. Inhale up. And exhale, forward fold. Breathe in, half lift. 
breathe out, plant your hand, step your left foot back, step your right foot back and lower down. If you wanna stop halfway in Chaturanga this time, stop halfway. Inhale to Cobra or Upward Facing Dog. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Pause here for three breaths. Inhale, look to your hand. And then exhale, travel you back up to the top of your mat into your forward fold. Breathe in, half lift. Breathe out, forward fold. Breathe in, roll all the way up. Arms up, gaze up, fingertips touch. Exhale, hands to heart. We're going to do one more just like that, but I won't say anything. So move through your sun salutation, however you'd like. We'll be all the way back at the top of our mat. If you lose where you're at, I'll be up here doing it with you, or you can just fake it. Nobody will know. Inhale up, and exhale, forward fold. Pause for three breaths in your down dog before you move back to the top of your mat. Once you arrive at the top of your mat, close your eyes now. Let your hands fall alongside your body. Palms facing the front of the room so your thumbs are rotated out towards the side, feeling that external rotation in your upper arm bones. Our sequence today includes a lot of vinyasas or partial sun salutation A. So if at any point, it feels like too much. You can always just press back to downward facing dog. We'll all meet there together at any point. Take one more breath in here and one more breath out. Inhale, sweep your fingers to the mat. You can have your toes together or feet parallel as we move into chair. So you choose toes together or toes parallel, moving into chair, get there comfortably. You wanna make sure your pelvis is nice and neutral. It's not sticking way out, it's not tucked way under, but neutral. So your tailbone is pointing right down at the ground behind you. You're lifting your chest. You can see your toes peeking out in front of your knees. Breathe in, breathe out, sweep your hands back. Squeeze your arms behind you, elbows point down like you're carrying a newspaper in your hands. Shoulder blades are coming together and down your back. You're not wearing your shoulders like earrings. Breath in, arms sweep back up, and breath out, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step back or jump back, lower down to your belly or to Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up, three-legged dog. Press through both heels. Square your hips as best as you can. So even in three-legged dog, you're pulling back on your left hip crease so that your right hip falls towards the ground nice and square. Exhale, draw your knee to your nose in high plank. Either step or help your right foot in between your hands. Drop your left knee down to the ground. Keep your toes tucked this time. Inhale, lift your chest up, crescent moon. You can stay just like this, or you can reach your fingertips back, finding a little bit of a back bend here. Breath in and breath out, plant your hands around your right foot. Take a breath in and breath out, straighten that front leg, moving into half Hanumanasana. 
you can creepy crawl your right foot forward a little bit to keep your hips higher, or you can sink your hips all the way down. You choose today. With each breath in, imagine your spine getting longer, stretching towards the front of the room. Each breath out, your chest can sink just a little closer to your shin. Breath in, breath out. Last breath in, last breath out. Rebend your front leg so your knee is right back over that ankle. If your back toe isn't tucked, get that toe tucked. And inhale, sweep up all the way to a high crescent this time. Drawing back on your right hip crease now. Activating your left glute, pressing through the ball of your left foot. Breath in. Breath out. One more breath in. And exhale, plant your hands around your right foot. Step your right foot back, downward facing dog, and move through your vinyasa. Roll forward to your high plank, back to down dog, or just hang out down dog. And we'll all wait together. We'll do the other side. Then we'll go back and do those a little more quickly before we add on. We're going to continue to add on to this sequence little by little today. Inhale, your left leg rises. Breath in. And breath out. Breath in. And your knee comes to your nose. Step or help your left foot through your hands. Drop your back knee. Keep your toes tucked. Inhale, chest comes up. Crescent moon. Maybe. You trace your fingers back to find a little back bend. Breath in and breath out. Plant your hands around that left foot. Straighten your front leg. Left toes come up towards the sky. Half Hanumanasana. One more breath in, one more breath out. Rebend your front knee, you're sending your left foot over your left ankle. Activate your back leg and sweep your fingers up to high crescent. Drawing back on your left hip crease, high on the ball of your back foot. Your goal here is to get your right heel over your right ankle, over your right toes, heel over toes. Breath in and breath out one more breath in exhale plant your hands around your front foot step back to your high plank lower down move through your vinyasa and come to downward facing dog breath in and breath out inhale look to your hands Exhale, tiptoe, hop, step, jump to all the way forward to the top of your mat. Breathe in, half lift. Breathe out, forward fold. Breathe in, roll all the way up. Arms float up. Exhale, hands to heart. Okay, we'll do that again, speeding up that first portion. One breath to one movement before we slow things down again. So get your feet set up for your version of chair today. Inhale, sweep those fingertips. Exhale, let them fall behind you. Thumbs point down, squeezing your triceps. Inhale, back up. And exhale, forward fold. Breathe in, half lift. Breathe out, plant your hands, move through your vinyasa, or just step right back to downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up. 
Exhale, draw your knee to your nose, step your right foot through, drop your back knee. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, half Hanumanasana. Inhale, all the way up to high crescent. And slowing things down again. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Let your shoulders relax. Fingers reaching in opposite sides of the room. Make sure you feel the weight in both feet. You're, dump you're not dumping all the way into that front leg. Breath in, breath out. Let your left hand sweep down. Rotate your hips towards the front of the room. Step your back foot in a little at a 45. We're moving into warrior one. From warrior one to warrior two is a transition we make often. From two back to one, not so much. So you're closing your hips down, squaring them to the front of the room. Breath in, breath out. Let your hands drop behind your back. Clasp your fingertips, send that fist down to the earth. Open up your chest. Sending your sternum up towards the ceiling with every breath. One more breath in and breath out. Humble warrior, right shoulder comes inside of your right knee. Your goal here is to still keep those hips square. You're still pulling back on your right hip crease. We have a tendency to start to open up our hips and swing our hips open to get our right shoulder inside of our right knee. And in some sequences, it's written that way, and that's great. But for today, draw back on your right hip crease. So your shoulder might not sink quite as far inside of your right knee as you'd like. We're trying to keep those hips square. Breath in, breath out. Release your hands. Let them sweep all the way back up. Warrior one. See if you can really get those biceps next to your ears without letting your shoulders creep up. So much so that maybe you can't even see your biceps in your peripheral vision. Breath in, breath out, plant your hands next to your right foot. Come up high on the ball of your back foot. Step back to your high plank, move through your vinyasa. Breath in and breathe out. And we'll do that again. The first half will move a little quickly before we slow it down again. Inhale, lift your left leg. Exhale, knee to nose, step your left foot through, drop your back knee. Inhale up, crescent moon. Exhale, sweep your hands back, straighten your front leg, half on and off. Inhale, come back forward, lift your back leg, high crescent. Slowing it down, exhale, open up, warrior two. Breath in, breath out. Your right hand sweeps down, close your hips. Rotate that back foot to a 45. I need to walk my back foot in ever so slightly just to shorten my stance a little. It'll depend on how your body's built. But maybe try that on. Breath in, breath out. Hands drop behind your back. Inhale, open up your chest as that fist draws down to the earth. Breath in and breath out. Humble warrior, left shoulder inside of left knee, still drawing back on the left hip crease. One more breath in, breath out. Drop your right fingertips down towards the ground. Inhale all the way back up, warrior one. Take this last opportunity in warrior one. Are your biceps back over your ears? Can't even see them. Breath in, breath out. Plant your hands around your front foot, high on the ball of your back foot. Step back, move through your vinyasa, or press to downward facing dog. <laughs> Thank you. 
Breath in and breath out. One more breath in and breath out. Inhale, look to your hands and exhale, make your way to your hands however you choose. Breathe in, half lift. Breathe out, forward fold. Breathe in, float all the way up. Arms come to the top. And exhale, hands to heart. We have one more add-on to get your feet set up in chair. Move through the first two portions more quickly and then slow it down again. Inhale, sweep your fingertips, come into chair. Exhale, hands sweep behind you. Inhale, back up. And exhale, forward fold. Breathe in, half lift. Breathe out, plant your hands, move through your vinyasa, come all the way to downward facing dog. Inhale your right leg up. Exhale, knee to nose, step through. Drop your back knee. Inhale your arms up. Exhale, maybe this time as you come to your half Hanumanasana, don't drop your fingertips. And as you press back forward to high crescent, don't drop your fingertips. Exhale, open up warrior two. Inhale, left hand sweeps down. Back foot comes in, warrior one. Exhale, hands drop behind your back. Inhale, open up your chest. Exhale, humble warrior. We'll stay here for a breath in. And a breath out, your hands drop down. Inhale, back up to warrior one, slowing things down. Your right hand's gonna come behind you at the same time as your back foot lifts up, up onto the ball. So we've moved right into Twisted Crescent. You're on the ball of your back foot, your right foot's back, right hand is back. Breath in and breath out. One more breath in and breath out. Drop your back knee down to the earth. Breath in and out. With each exhale, you scissor your legs together, turn from your belly button, and see if you can square your shoulders to the side of the room. Breath in and breath out. Inhale, your right hand drops towards your calf or thigh, left arm sweeps up, reverse twisted crescent moon. Breath in and breath out. One more breath in. Exhale, windmill your hands down around your front foot. Reactivate your back leg. Send your right leg right up, three-legged dog. Inhale, exhale, right hip stacks on top of left. Maybe your right heel reaches toward your bum, letting gravity open up those hips. Breath in and breath out. Last breath in, breath out. Square your hips, come back to three-legged dog. Lower down, maybe you keep your right leg lifted as you move back through your vinyasa all the way to downward facing dog. And we'll do the other side. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Step your left foot through. Lower your back knee down. Inhale, fingertips come up. Exhale, half Hanumanasana. Maybe don't use your fingertips. Inhale up to crescent. Don't use your fingertips. Exhale, warrior two. Breath in. Breath out. Right hand sweeps down. Back foot steps in. Warrior one. Exhale, hands behind your back. Inhale, open up your chest. And breath out, humble warrior. Stay for a breath in. Breath out, hands drop alongside your body. Inhale, back to warrior one. Breath in and breath out, slowing things down. Breath in, breath out. Your left hand reaches behind you. Come up onto the ball of your left back foot so you're in twisted crescent. Scissor your legs together. 
press through the ball of your back foot. Breath in, breath out, lower your back knee down to the earth. Breathe in and breathe out. Last breath in, last breath out. Your left hand drops back to your calf or your thigh, reverse. Breathe in, breathe out, windmill your hands down around your left foot, tuck your back toe, lift your back leg off the ground, left foot goes right up, three-legged dog. Breath in, breath out, left hip stacks on top of right, heel drops down towards your bum, maybe your right heel sinks a little closer to the earth with the added weight of your left leg. Last breath in, last breath out. Inhale your right leg back up, three-legged dog. Roll forward to high plank, maybe leave your left leg lifted. Move through your vinyasa. One last time. Well, not one last time, this last time. Breath in, breath out. Inhale, look to your hands. Exhale, tiptoe, hop, step all the way up to meet your hands. Breathe in, half lift. Breathe out, forward fold. Breathe in, roll all the way up to standing. Let your arms float up. And exhale, hands come down to heart center. Breath in, breath out. We're going to do that one last time, but I'm going to pull out a big chunk in the middle. And we're going to add a few little challenges here and there. So set yourself up for your chair. <sighs> Inhale, sweep your fingers. Come into chair. Exhale, hands sweep behind you. Inhale, back up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Option to add crow here. Plant your hands. Come up onto your tiptoes. Knees plant at the very top of your triceps, way up towards your armpits. Maybe you lift up one toe. Maybe you lift the other. Maybe you lift both. See if you can hold it here for three breaths or just play with it for three breaths. As you exhale on that third breath, you can shoot back landing in chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. If crow is something that you're still playing with, or shooting back from crow is something that you're still playing with, the option I always want to encourage people to do is even if you're still on your toes or one toe, step back right from crow to your chaturanga, just to give your body the idea that eventually that's where you're going. Stepping back to chaturanga is just a good a choice. Okay, here we go. Moving on. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, step your right foot through. Lower your back knee down. Inhale, fingertips up. Exhale, half Hanumanasana. Maybe don't use your hands. Inhale, back to high crescent. Don't use your hands. Listen up. Exhale, right fingertips sweep back. Left forward, you're right into that crescent twist. We're not going to drop our back knee this time. Right hand to the back leg. Left arm lifts up. Breath in, breath out, windmill your hands down to the ground, send your right leg high, three-legged duck. Exhale, right hip stacks on top of left. If it's in your practice, you can flip your dog, letting your right foot land next to your left, chest lifts, reaching your right arm towards the front of the room, breath in, breath out, right hand plants, right leg goes back up on an inhale. Exhale, roll forward to your high plank. Maybe your right leg stays lifted. Lower down and move through your vinyasa. Stay here for a breath in and a breath out. Other side, inhale, left leg goes up. Exhale, knee to your nose, step it through. Drop your back knee down. Inhale, your arms up, crescent move. Exhale, sweep back, half Hanumanasana, maybe no fingers. Inhale all the way up to high crescent. 
Exhale, left hand back, right arm forward, twisted crescent lunge. Inhale, reverse. Breath in. Breath out, windmill your hands down. Left leg goes up, three-legged duck. Exhale, left hip stacks on top of right. Stay here or flip your duck. Breath in, breath out. Plant your left hand back down, send your left leg back up, breathe in. Breathe out, come to your high plank. Lower down, upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. Take a breath in and a breath out. Last little bit of work. Breath in and breath out. Drop your knees down to the earth just for a moment so you can reset your hands. Get your hands right underneath your shoulders. Tuck your toes. Lift your knees up off the ground. You're in this floating tabletop. You're going to drop your left heel towards your right side. Pick up your right knee, cross it under your body. Left hand can come to your shoulder, to your heart. Plant both back down, back to floating tabletop. Twist over to the right. Right hand comes to chest, left leg sticks out. Floating tabletop. Twist to the left. Floating tabletop. Twist to the right. Floating tabletop. Twist to the left. Float. Twist to the right. So you can take it further by straightening the leg underneath. Twist to the right, left leg straightens out. Twist to the left, left leg straightens out. To the right. To the left. To the right. To the left, one more on each side. Twist to the right. Twist to the left and drop your knees down. Come onto your belly or into child's pose to find a few moments of rest here. Drawing your thoughts back to your intention. Start to get control of your breath. Slow things down. Wherever you're at, start to wake up your body a little bit. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Start to lift yourself up. We'll pass through tabletop position. Move through a cat cow or two. Maybe add some neck movement in there with those cat cows. Tuck your toes and come to downward facing dog. Just take a quick check in to see how this feels different than the first downward dog. We've done quite a few since the beginning of class. So hopefully your body feels like it's settling into this shape. Look up at your hands and walk your feet all the way up towards your hands. And roll up, come to standing at the top of your mat. Shake it out a little bit. So we get ready to move through our balancing postures today. 
Breath in and breath out. Inhale, come into chair. It'll just be a really brief chair this time. Shift your weight into your right leg. Pick up your left leg. Step it back towards the back of the room, landing yourself into high crescent. Breath in. Breath out. Send your right fingertips to the back of the room, left fingertips to the front. We've already been here today. Twisted crescent. Inhale your right hand right back up to center. Exhale, drop your chest a little bit. Press off your back toe. Coming into warrior three. You choose your arm variation. Lots of choices here. Hands at heart, airplane arms. Biceps up and over the ears. Breath in. And breath out. Inhale, lift your chest up. Bring your left leg with you. Maybe don't let it hit the ground. Set your left ankle just above your right knee on your thigh. And come into a little half squat, this figure four shape. You can stay right here. If you wanna take it a little further, you can squat a little further, fingertips come to the ground. And you can start to straighten out that standing leg, moving into this figure four forward fold. If you wanna take it a little further, you can try on flying pigeon. In which case, you'll come onto the ball of your right foot, plant your hands firmly on the ground, and you'll point those elbows back, just like those Chaturanga arms. Hook your left toes around your bicep and stack that shin on your forearms. Maybe your back leg, toes come up off the ground. Maybe that leg extends up. And you can land in Chaturanga. And move through your vinyasa to finish it off. We'll all come back to the top of our mat in standing to do the other side. Let your arms float up. Hands to heart to reset. Get your feet set up for chair. Inhale, sweep your hands into chair. And shift your weight into your left foot. Pick up your right foot. Step it to the back of your mat. Land on the ball of your foot. Lift your chest up. High crescent. Left hand drops behind you. Twisted crescent. Left arm sweeps right back up. Start to lean forward. Press off the ball of your back foot. Moving into warrior three. Breath in, breath out. Inhale, lift your chest up, bring your right knee. Right ankle stacks just above your left knee. You can stay right here in this figure four squat or fold over these figure four legs. Or to move through flying pigeon, Plant your hands on the ground. Elbows point to the back of the room. Set that shin between your two elbows, using your toes to hook around that elbow. And maybe your left toes lift up off the ground. Maybe your left leg extends. Maybe you shoot back and land in Chaturanga. Move through your vinyasa, or just let it go. We'll all meet together on our backs. So move through a down dog or a cat cow or shake it out or come all the way down onto your back. Once you're on your back, bring your heels really close to your bottom. So much so that you might even be able to sweep your fingers with that heel. We're gonna move into bridge, lifting our hips, so take a breath in and a breath out. Inhale, press into all four corners of your feet. Lift your hips, press them all the way up. Be mindful that your knees are staying pointed straight ahead. They're not turning out. Clasp your hands underneath your back, roll your shoulders under. 
press from your fists all the way up to your shoulders. So your whole arm is being used to lift your body and brace. Squeeze your glutes to lift your hips higher. Breath in, breath out. Release your hands, come onto your tiptoes, and gently, slowly, 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 roll all the way down onto your back. Let your heels drop down. Windshield wiper your feet from side to side. Draw your knees into your chest. Grab the backs of your thighs, rock and roll forward and backward. Maybe two times, maybe three times until you can come all the way to seat it. Plant your feet on the ground. Plant your hands behind you a little bit with your toes pointing at your feet. Lift your hips up so you can find your reverse tabletop. Play with your stance a little bit so that in reverse tabletop, your shoulders are right over your wrists, your knees are right over your ankles. Press, hold it here, press your hips high. Breath in and breath out. Send your bum all the way down to the ground. Maybe draw your hands and feet in a little bit. Lift your bum up off the ground. Pick up your right foot, tap it with your left hand and switch, left hand, right foot and switch. This time your bum does not come all the way to the ground between each tap. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Let your bottom come all the way down. Roll all the way back down onto your back. Then we'll do one more bridge. So feet planted next to your bum. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Inhale. Press your hips up. Clasp your hands, roll your upper arms under so you're opening up your chest. Press through your feet, squeeze your glutes. Breath in, breath out. Come on to your tiptoes, release your hands, and gently roll all the way down. Windshield wiper your legs from side to side. Point your knees back up at the earth. Take your right ankle, set it on your left side just above your left knee, back to that figure four shape. From here, you're gonna take a breath in. As you breathe out, you're simply gonna let your legs fall as one single unit over to the left so that your right foot is standing on the ground. Knee pointed up at the sky. Arms can be in a T or in cactus, gazing over your right shoulder. Lift your legs back up as one unit. So now that your left foot is standing back on top of the ground, pick up your right foot, set it back down. Your left foot comes up, ankle just above the knee on the thigh. Take a breath in. Let your legs fall to the right as one unit. So you're standing on your left foot. Gaze over your left shoulder. Draw your knees back up to center. Your left foot steps back down next to your right. Last posture of the day, happy baby. Soles of the feet up towards the ceiling. Grab your toes or the outside of your foot or the back of your knees. Drawing your knees down alongside your ribcage towards the earth. 
You can straighten out one leg at a time or straighten out both legs at once. Take one more breath in. Give yourself a big hug, hugging both legs as you exhale, pressing all of the air out of your lungs. And release, set yourself up in Shavasana. Legs come to the outside edges of your mat. Feet fall apart. Palms, palms face up alongside your body. Start to wake up your body. Roll onto your favorite side in the fetal position. Take a moment to draw that intention back to mind and decide how that went for you. If you felt uplifted by that intention and if you can carry that with you throughout the day. Press yourself up to a seated position. Keep your eyes closed or your gaze soft. Take your right hand and place it on top of your heart and your left hand on top of your right. We'll take one more breath in together. One more exhale. The light in me sees and acknowledges and appreciates the light in each one of you. Namaste.